A Bill of Rights is what the people are entitled to against every government, and what no just government should refuse or rest on inference. Hello, I'm Alan Scholl, director of the Freedom Project, sponsored by the American Opinion Foundation. In this episode of our Principles of the Constitution series, we're going to focus on the first five of the initial ten amendments to the Constitution, also known as the Bill of Rights. Here's a question for you. True or false, the Bill of Rights was designed to give more power to the federal government. The answer is false. The Bill of Rights was actually designed to put limitations on government. To start off with, I'd like to bring in our friend Dr. Smith. Doctor, tell us, did the Bill of Rights give Americans rights? According to the Founding Fathers, the Bill of Rights did not create rights for Americans. Um, most of them would believe that the rights that we have are what they would call God-given rights. And the Bill of Rights simply recognizes those rights and then prevents government from infringing upon those particular rights. Government doesn't really create rights in that way, at least not in the way that the framers of our Constitution thought of as rights. Government respects our rights by limiting its actions in particular areas in which we do have those rights. And so our freedom of speech exists regardless of what our government does, according to the Founding Fathers. Our government respects our freedom of speech by not passing laws that infringe upon that freedom of speech. And so government doesn't create the right, government merely recognizes the right as defined by the Bill of Rights. Thank you, Dr. Smith. It was in 1789 that the amendments were introduced as a series of legislative articles by our fourth president, James Madison. Two years later, in 1791, they were approved by 75% of the states and became the first 10 amendments. The Bill of Rights was designed to protect the natural rights of all Americans, to set limits on what the government can and can't do in regards to personal freedoms. The original concept of a Bill of Rights was extremely controversial. Many argued that it wasn't necessary. One such person who argued that it wasn't necessary was Alexander Hamilton, who said, Here, in strictness, the people surrender nothing, and as they retain everything, they have no need of particular reservations. In other words, Hamilton feared that by listing specific rights, any rights that weren't listed might be lost. Someone who was very much in favor of a Bill of Rights was Thomas Jefferson, who said, Half a loaf is better than no bread. If we cannot secure all our rights, let us secure what we can. The Bill of Rights reserves all rights not mentioned in the Constitution to the people themselves or the states. Originally, 12 articles were proposed, but only the last 10 were ratified by the states. The articles not originally included were Article 1, which dealt with the number of U.S. representatives, Article 2, which limited the power of Congress to increase its own salaries, which was eventually added as the 27th Amendment. 